From the thorny devil himself to rare breeds of cats, here are 10 awesomely strange desert dwelling creatures. Number 10. The Fennec Fox This nocturnal fox can be found in the hot deserts of the northern African Sahara. However, they might be hard to spot as their light brown and white fur coloring tends to blend into their environment. These petite foxes are also the smallest species of all canines. Their most distinctive feature has to be their large ears which allows them to hear better, especially when catching bugs or tiny mammals. Plus, these oversized ears are loaded up with lots of blood vessels, allowing the animals to dissipate excess body heat. Their typical lifespan is about 14 years, and their main predators are eagles or owls who will scoop them up off the desert floor due to their tiny size. They're roughly only 40 to 60 centimeters, which does include their tails. Their favorite places to hide out are in the sand dunes, where they often sleep until sunset. Number 9. Thorny Devil Lizard these captivating, yet kind of creepy looking lizards in the Australian outback actually have the name as the Thorny Devil. What makes these tiny strange looking reptiles so cool you might ask? Well these highly adaptable creatures are able to drink water straight from the desert sand itself. These astounding thorn covered lizards are able to supplement their water intake by covering their bodies with sand and then using straw like folds in their skin to pull in water. This is then directed to its throat. It's similar to the way water is absorbed through blotter paper. This adaptive technique is called capillary action. The rest of their liquid intake they get from the only food they consume are ants. Some refer to these creatures as the thorny dragon, the mountain devil, or the moloch. They typically grow up to be around 20 centimeters and usually live for 15 to 20 years. Their conical spines, which cover their uncalcified bodies, have coloring meant for desert camouflage and as such is primarily shaped of yellow, tan, and browns. Number 8. Golden Jackal These wolf-like canines are native to Southeast Europe and Southern Asia, but are most common in the Western Sahara Desert sands. Golden Jackals tend to have smaller legs, a shorter tail, an elongated torso, smaller forehead, and narrow, more pointed muzzle when compared to their wolf cousins. Their coloring typically ranges from a creamy pale yellow during the summer months to a dark tanny beige during the winter season. Genetic studies show that these jackals, which are golden, expanded from India sometime around 20,000 years ago toward the end of Earth's last ice age. These creatures have a usual total body length of around two to three feet. Golden Jackals are well known and respected in the Animal Desert Kingdom, as they are excellent hunters, mainly thanks to their excellent night vision and acute sense of hearing. Number 7. African Spiny Mouse These creatures found in the desert of Africa are rodents. They're very similar to the common mouse, except their bare, scaled tails and unusual coats, which are endowed with unusually stiff guard hairs, similar to the hedgehog spines. And now it turns out that these tiny spiny mice are even stranger than one suspected. This unusual species of rodent has mastered the magical power of regeneration. These superpowered mice are the only mammals on the entire planet capable of completely regenerating damaged tissue such as hair follicles, skin, sweat glands, fur, and even cartilage. These masters of self-healing are able to close any wound through a special process of contraction. Their skin is said to be exceptionally frail, which helps this process of regeneration, minimize blood loss, and heal superficial wounds way faster than any other animal. That's pretty impressive for such a little guy, wouldn't you say? Number 6. The Roadrunner These desert dwelling birds are some of the fastest running ground cuckoos you will ever see. These birds can race at speeds of nearly 20 miles an hour. Though they can fly, these bizarre birds prefer to lose their predators through their fancy footwork, only taking the skies as a last resort. These birds of a feather tend to flock together, and once they find a mate, they will enter a monogamous relationship for the rest of their lives. These speed racers are considered opportunistic omnivores. Their favorite foods include bugs, small reptiles, small mammals, tiny birds, eggs, and prickly pear cactuses. Several Native American tribes consider roadrunners to be medicine birds, and claim that they can protect them against evil spirits. Catching sight of these birds whose feet make little X shapes in the sand is thought to bring good luck. Number 5. Meerkats Their namesake is from a Dutch word which roughly translates to lake cat. However, these small carnivorous creatures actually belong to the mongoose family. They are the only member of the mongoose family to reside in South Africa. 
A group of meerkats, usually between 20 to 50, is commonly referred to as a mob, a gang, or a clan. These tiny creatures only weigh an average of 1 to 5 pounds. Their long, slender bodies stretching out to a measly average of 35 to 50 centimeters, not including their tails, which usually grows to be around 25 centimeters. Meerkats are primarily insectivores, but also eat other small mammals and certain plants as well. These desert-dwelling mongooses are very immune to certain types of venom and can dig through a quantity of sand equal to their own complete body weight in seconds. These talented burrows tend to live in large underground networks beneath the desert soil. Sometimes these underground meerkat societies can stretch for miles depending on how large the clan is. The social creatures enjoy living in large colonies and will work together to look for predators and often hunt in large packs. Number 4. The Ostrich these birds, found primarily in the savannas and deserts of Africa, are typically around 2.5 meters in height, weighing an average of 70 to 145 kilograms, making them the largest and heaviest birds in the entire world. No wonder they can't fly. But despite their lack of flight, these enormous desert-dwelling birds are better left alone. You definitely do not want to tangle with an angry ostrich. One well-placed kick delivered by one of these enormous birds, two-sided razor-sharp clawed toes, has enough force to kill a lion. These extremely large muscular legs of theirs allow them to run at speeds of about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Their favorite foods include plants, roots, seeds, bugs, lizards, and other small mammals. Old cartoon ostriches are often shown with their heads buried in the sand. In actuality though, these sneaky birds will lie low and press their long necks to the ground to make themselves less visible. Number 3. Armadillo Girdle Lizard From the sandy deserts along the western coast of South Africa is this peculiar, heavily armored little lizard who is named after another animal, the armadillo. These small reptiles, an average of 7 to 9 centimeters, gather their animal namesake from their anti-predator adaptation which allows them to take their tails and their mouths and roll into a nearly tight impregnable ball. In this spherical position, this lizard's spiny scales covered its neck, body, and tail stand on full end in an attempt to frighten off potential predators as well as protect its soft belly in case of an attack. Their bodies are primarily a yellow dirt color to a soft brown, allowing these adaptable creatures better hiding abilities out in those desert sands. Their tails, covered in ringed spiky spines, can be shed in seconds for quick escapes. These lizards do not lay eggs, they actually give birth to one of three live babies on an average of once a year. Their favorite places match their colorings, their tiny feet can commonly be seen scampered on rock outcrops, mountain slopes, and sandstone substrate as they hunt for their favorite meal. They typically feast on bugs, spiders, and occasionally desert flowers. Number 2. The Kenyan Sand Boa These unusual snakes from the species of boa can be located in northern Kenya, hence their namesake. These creepy sand crawlers are one of the smallest species of boas slithering around on planet Earth, as they typically spend most of their lives buried beneath the surface layers of desert sand or stretched out under the cool coverings of a large rock. During those darkness-filled hours when the stars and moon line the sky into the early morning as the desert sun first begins its ascend towards the heavens are the best times to attempt to catch a glimpse of these reptiles. The eyes and nostrils of these curious creatures are positioned on top of their heads to help keep sand and dirt out. These desert ambush predators will lie in wait for prey to pass by as they're buried in sand or under the cover of a rock. Once in sight, they will then tend to wait for the perfect moment when they want their prey. These strange snakes will then return to their dark and hidden lairs to enjoy their dinners, made up primarily of tiny mammals. These monsters dwelling beneath the sand typically don't bother hunting very often, usually waiting weeks or months between feedings and can survive over a year without any food if necessary. And number one, the sand dune cat. This is the only cat hardcore enough to survive in those harsh desert environments. These sand cats are typically found in Northern Africa, the Middle East, and Central Asia. The cat's fur will help them blend in to their surrounding environment and are usually tan. Sand dune cats mostly resemble house cats with slight variations like shorter legs and more pronounced ears. These creatures primarily live solitary lives, usually only getting together during mating season. During these brief social interactions, they communicate by leaving their scent and claw marks in the sand on plants and also on rocks. The kitties don't purr, instead they have high-pitched meows, similar to the sound of a small dog barking. These creatures typically only roam the desert sands during the twilight and nighttime hours. They are capable of sudden bursts of speed, hunting their prey with leaps and sprints with an average of 20 to 25 miles per hour. 
Their special padded paws covered with long tough hairs help protect their feet from the harsh hot desert sands. During sun-drenched hours, sand cats will often bury themselves in thin layers of sand or hide under bushes. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button for new videos every day.